So this is the um, rack and pinion steering off of my PT Cruiser. And the tie rod ends are, are used. Kind of floppy, not very good. But significantly, the biggest problem with this was, if you look at this, flopping all around, does that on both sides. And the tires were going like this, back and forth, side to side as you drove it. So the power steering actually worked. It was easy to steer in that regard, but it just was flopping all over. So the pump and section is probably okay. There's a piston in here that, that um, basically two chambers, one chamber on this side and one chamber on that side. And what happens is when you turn your wheel, it directs fluid flow into one side or the other. Higher pressure fluid flow on that side pushes it this way. Higher pressure fluid on this side pushes it that way. Pretty, pretty simple. All has to do with this um, portion here, how much of that will transfer off. But what I wanted to see was what makes this thing flop so bad. So I went ahead and pulled the little clips off of here. And this is our rack that feeds against the pinion gear in here. But look at this. And that was the biggest problem. And it's just flopping in there. <laughs> Whatever was in there, bushing wise, is gone. And you could probably pull this off and take an even closer look at it. But anyway, that was the major problem with what was going on with this rack and pinion steering. The new one is tight as can be. I barely can move these guys around. So. Looking forward to getting that one in place. And I'll show you put a rack and pinion steering gear. Uh, possible failure could be.